Hey YouTubers, just thought I'd make a quick guide on uh, killing George Romero on Call of the Dead in the Escalation map pack. Now, um, there are some things you want to keep in mind when you're killing them, because there's a lot of useful tricks and, well, things just that you want to keep in mind. One of them being that when you kill them, you get a free perk, as long as you don't do it with the VR-11. When you kill them, you get a free perk, and if you have four, then that'll add the fifth on top, so you'll end up having five perks, six perks, and seven perks if you stay alive long enough. Now keep in mind that every bullet counts when you're killing George. My girlfriend ended up killing him when he was at low health with just one clip of the Galil and I killed him last round using a um, half of a python. So um, now to know he's dying or not, you always want to take a look at his spotlight. In the beginning, he'll always have a fully electrified spotlight. We just weakened him right now. He's half health because his light's flickering yellow and blue if you can kind of see that right there. Now, uh, we'll check in when he's closer to dying, but, well, see you in a bit. Hey guys, back. Um, now we got George to about the lowest health that you can visibly tell. If you look at his spotlight now, there's pretty much no blue electricity in it. It just keeps flickering orange, flickering orange, over and over. Now, um, best weapons to use when you're killing him is, um, scavenger and the ray gun. Scavenger is definitely the best for killing him. I'm, I think you might be able to kill him when it's the uh, upgraded Hyena Infra dead and one full ammo clip of it. All 36 bullets, I think you'll be able to get him. And now, like I said, every bullet counts, so if you and your friends are all going to the box and leaving a crawler because you guys need weapons, if you get a China Lake or you get a Law, then go run up to George and empty out all of your ammo into him, because it'll always contribute to killing him. Now, we'll be back. Hopefully I'll be able to catch him on uh, camera dying and when we kill him, hopefully. So, see you in a bit. Okay. Hey guys, we're back. We killed George. Now, uh, we, I wanted to get some footage of him dying, but uh, he died a lot quicker than we thought. I managed to get all of the L96A1 ammo on, into him, and, uh, well, my girlfriend here just killed him with the uh, upgraded HK21. Pause it. Pause it. Now, when, um, you can tell when he's dying, because, pause it. Anyways, small miscommunication there. <laughs> um, so we killed him with the HK-21, and as you saw, he was bending over, and it looked like he had uh, red flames coming out of him. That means that he's dead, so don't continue wasting your ammo on him. Now, uh, as you can see, there's a free perk, and there's a death machine. Now, oh, here, I'll get it. So there, now I got six perks. I got dead shot. I didn't want that, but... Um, now you can see I got the Wonder Waffle. If you did that whole quest in unlocking the Wonder Waffle, the great part about it is every single time you kill George, you'll get the Waffle again as long as that person has a trophy anyways, or achievement for Xbox people. Now, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Have fun killing George, because we do. Get seven perks, because we haven't yet.